A brand new exhibit is ready for launch. The Franklin Institute Wondrous Space will take visitors through the marvels of space exploration and innovation. And the experience officially opens tomorrow. CBS News Philadelphia's Jan Carabao joining us live from the Science Center this morning with a preview for us. Hey, Jan. Jim and Janelle, good morning. This is a giant space. We're talking about two floors, 7,500 square feet, feet of interactive exhibits like this one, the Gravity Well, where you grab a bunch of little beads, balls like this, toss it in, and just marvel at what you're seeing. Here to talk about that, though, because I can't explain the science, is one of our favorites, chief astronomer here at the Franklin Institute, Derek Pitts. Derek, thanks for joining us. Sure. What are we looking at here? So what we're looking at is our gravity well, which is a simulation of how a black hole works. So as we look at this, we can see the balls that we put out on the table are meant to represent planets or stars orbiting the black hole. And you can see how they're spinning around heading down into the black hole. It's amazing, and this is just one of so many interactive experiences here in wondrous spaces. What can we expect first here on the first floor? So on the first floor, what we do is we investigate all those things that create a sense of wonder and curiosity about the night sky. What are those things out there like meteors and galaxies and nebulae and things like that? And we provide ways for people to get a better idea of how the universe is built. So we have a device that helps you try to get yourself out to the edge of space, out to the edge of the universe. And it's a physical device that you push track balls to give you the chance to travel out. And then we allow you to play with gravity in a little section over here that lets you be a mass that attracts other objects into gravity collisions. And then all around the other side of the exhibit, we have a place where you can understand that space is not empty. It's filled with different kinds of energy, and that energy carries information about the objects out in the universe. Let's walk here, Derek, as we continue to talk and show people about this whole gravity pull here. Now, this first floor is meant to be, get people excited about space exploration. We're going to go up to the second floor as well, coming up in our next hour. Give us a tease about what we can expect up there. So upstairs is a completely different vibe. That's very much like a laboratory environment in which what we do is we help people understand what are the kinds of careers that go into space exploration and astronomical research. And we give people a chance to see that if you're interested in space exploration but you don't want to be an astronaut, there's so many other things that you can do to be part of this. But we wanted to show that there's a great diversity, not only in those career opportunities, but also diversity in the people that are involved in space and exploration. So we have something called Faces of the Future that shows so many different people that are involved in this that love the idea of being involved, but they're not astronauts. So you can also build your own rover, build your own rocket, build your own spacesuit. All of those things in the exhibit help you understand what goes into this. Perfect. We're going to take a look at more of that coming up in our next hour. But before we go, you guys, one last thing. This is the giveaway on Saturday and Sunday. The first 250 people through the door get a little stress relief space shuttle. You're not going to need it while you're in here. This is such a beautiful space. You're going to have no stress at all when you visit the Franklin Institute. Opens tomorrow. Back into you guys. Very exciting. All right. Nice to have a preview there. Jan, thank you so much. We'll see you later on.